Mount Rushmore is one of the most popular tourist destinations in our country, and rightly so. There, carved in granite, on the side of that mountain called Rushmore, we have four of our presidents of the United States that served with distinction. I'm doing a series on each one of those presidents here in my inspirational videos, and I'm going to do one each day in that uh, series. The first one we're going to look at will be Theodore Roosevelt. We're going to start with the latest one and work our way back to George Washington. And Theodore Roosevelt is the president who served the latest there. He was born in 1858 and he died in 1919 and he was the 26th president of the United States. He was a soldier. We all know the, the uh, stories of Teddy Roosevelt and the Rough Riders. He was a conservationist and a naturalist. He was an author and a Nobel Prize winner in 1906. He served as President of the United States from 1901 to 1909. In his inaugural address on March the 4th, 1901, he made this statement. I reverently invoke for my guidance the direction and favor of Almighty God. What a statement. Now, was that just a... Was that just a, a platitude? Was that just something he said to, to uh, appease the people? I don't think so. In 1909, Teddy Roosevelt said this, After a week of perplexing problems, it does rest my soul to come into the house of the Lord and to sing and mean it. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty. My great joy and glory that in occupying an exalted position in the nation, I am enabled to preach the practical moralities of the Bible to my fellow countrymen and to hold up Christ as the hope and Savior of the world. Now that sounds like to me that he meant those words in his first inaugural address. He also said one time, a thorough knowledge of the Bible is, more, is worth more than a college education. Wow. And then in 1909, shortly before his, uh, the end of his presidential term, he said this, Progress has brought us both unbounded opportunities and unbridled difficulties. Thus, the measure of our civilization will not be that we have done much, but what we have done with that much. I believe that the next half century will determine if we will advance the cause of Christian civilization or revert to the horrors of brutal paganism. The thought of modern industry in the hands of Christian charity is a dream worth dreaming. The thought of industry in the hands of paganism is a nightmare beyond imagining. The choice between the two is upon us. Let me read those last three sentences again. The thought of modern industry in the hands of Christian charity is a dream worth dreaming. The thought of industry in the hands of paganism is a nightmare beyond imagining. The choice between the two is upon us. That was right at the turn of the century from the 1800s into the 1900s when the Industrial Revolution was really kicking off and great progress had, was being made. And since that time, that progress has grown exponentially. And it's amazing. He would be amazed to see what was going on in in the world today and how much the world has changed and how much progress that we have made. But would he say, would he say that our industry in the, is in the hands of Christian charity and is a dream that is worth dreaming that is coming true? Or would he say that it was in the hands of paganism and a nightmare beyond imagining? Where do you think we are today? 
well, I want to believe God for good things for our country. A, a, a place that is truly a, a dream worth dreaming. The great American dream. And I believe that's what we need to be praying for every day, that God would restore our country to that vision of people like Theodore Roosevelt. Inspiration from the Presidents of Mount Rushmore.